Well, if you're heading out shopping this holiday weekend, you might run into some traffic trouble. We'll show you where coming up. And also ahead. It's uh, like a place kids can go and dance, but it's not like a club kind of atmosphere. It is the wild dance all night party of the 90s, and you're going to get a free preview and inside look. Find out about the rave in tonight's Six on Your Side special. If you're young and looking for fun, the place to be is a rave party, and what it is is a huge bash. A promoter puts it together by booking a hall, usually a big building or even a warehouse. Then he arranges for music and opens the door. You hear all sorts of stories about how wild a rave party can get, so we decided to take our cameras in and check one out. Tonight, Tanya Hutchins finds out why people are raving about a rave. It's Saturday night at the Newport. The music is techno or house music. It's got a pulse of its own, and once it starts, you can't help but move. It's different, it's fun, it's different. I mean, they don't play this kind of music anywhere else. It's, you can just get down to it, it's groovy. So groovy, you wouldn't believe some of the things they do. People uh, getting naked and dancing on top of speakers. Uh, you know, you can have an event where in the morning, at noon, when the music ends, people are standing in a big circle holding hands. You know, you see, you know, you see everything. We didn't see anything that outrageous at this party, but there is booze, and we found herbal ecstasy, a legal version of the drug. Partiers say it helps you last longer on the dance floor. Because these parties last for like 10 to 12 hours, you need a lot of energy. You get drained at the end of the day. So this is something you can take with lots of water, and it'll keep you going. It's a mood enhancer. The DJs come from all over, Detroit, Pittsburgh. It's like an underground dance party that normally happens in a place that's not a club, because that's the idea is that it's uh, like a place kids can go and dance, but it's not like a club kind of atmosphere. This particular rave is called Zeno de Hiem, which means a room or building devoted to the reception and accommodation of strangers or guests. Seems fitting. You can be yourself and you, you celebrate the music and everybody does their own thing. Mostly I see like guys in drag, but it's, I mean, everybody gets into it. It's real cool. In high heels, six inch heels with their hair like out from here. This was pretty unique simply because, you know, you get a pretty diversified crowd here. And it's kind of special because it gets to, you know, run beyond the normal hours of some of the places stay open. Like after the campus bar closed, come down here. I've seen people ranging from probably seven years old to like 40s. I've seen like a wide variety of people here. Rave organizers don't advertise. They just print flyers like this one and hope the word gets around. It usually does. They were expecting 800 partiers here. I came from Mansfield, Ohio, about an hour away. Uh, I came, I was at a nightclub in Marion the other night, and somebody told me about this, and I came up to check it out. Some people here wouldn't even talk to us because they're afraid what's now underground will become mainstream. And there's always that danger, especially uh, with tech, a lot of big uh, music labels are picking it up and like trying to push it to the masses. But, you know, with anything, if it gets popular, it gets popular. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't get too popular. But the word gets out and the beat goes on. Tanya Hutchins, Six on Your Side, Columbus. Interesting, but not quite our speed. No, and people learn about it through word of mouth. Yes. We're just describing yeah, oh, yeah, there's never any advertisement or anything, because, you know, you have to be hip enough to hear about it. Okay. Which is why we've never heard about <laughs> Out it. Out of the loop, I think. Okay.